Uh, when we first approached, we were surprised that we didn't see any signs on the fence as we did on television. And we wondered, you know, did they take them down because they didn't want them removed or destroyed? And as we were further down, we could see that all of the signs were still here and preserved. And we're thankful for that because we still have the opportunity to see it. And it's, it's an amazing thing to experience. I'm sorry we have to go through this. And, you know, this is the time for change. And rest in peace to George Floyd and all of the others. But he's the catalyst for change. I hope to see this collage as a section in the Smithsonian National African American Museum someday definitely needs to be commemorated and memorialized there. The, the pain and struggle oftentimes inspires some of the best art and all these people are, are putting their um, their thoughts, emotions, their, their their recognition of this time in these little pieces, these little posters and it's, it's, a, it's a collage of them I mean, and it's, it's, it's a shame that um, this government insists on trying to silence the resistance. This is not the end. This is not a, a, a hurrah, you know, a parade. We are still in it. Black men and women and children are still dying right now at the hands of U.S. police and law enforcement as we speak. And, no, and, and nothing has really been done to stop that. All the proposals, even in Minnesota, even in D.C., none of that is law. And you can't change something in Minnesota and not change it in Buffalo and not change it in Alabama. This has to be a national change.